Yo, show me the money. Eight two, episode two was so good. I'm gonna talk about it right now. Let's get it, boy. Hey yo, what's up, guys? Hey yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are good. Your boy is back, aka the Doki that cannot rap. And today we are doing another Let's Just Talk video. Today, if you have not seen the title already, it is about Show Me the Money 8 again, but episode 2. So I did an episode 1 discussion. If there's a card up here, if you want to check that video out, if you haven't checked it out yet. Make sure to go check that one out because I'm going to be talking about some stuff in this episode that I talked about in the last video. So go check this card, click that card and watch that video first and then come back here and watch this one. And I guess spoiler alert if you haven't seen the episode, if you're watching this video, either you're just a fan of me or if you're a fan of Show Me The Money 8, you've probably already seen the second episode. So, but I'm still going to add the spoiler alert. All right, <clears throat> in the second episode, we got the second elimination round, which is the one where each person comes on the stage. That sounds weird, but they go on the stage and they perform for like 60 seconds. And then the producers can fail or pass the contestants. And if you get all fails, you lose, eliminate it, exactly. You probably already know the things in Show Me The Money already. If you've seen previous ones or if you've watched this episode. So what I'm going to talk about today is pretty much just all the contestants that I enjoyed. And some of the contestants I forgot about mentioning in last video, I'm going to mention in this video. So first off, one of the main contestants that I forgot about last time was Punchinello because uh, I remember him from Show Me The Money 5 I believe. He was like one of my favorites but then he got eliminated in the 1v1 round so that was a little, a little upsetting but then he came back this season and he looks refreshed, re-energized, he looks ready to rap. He's had a little bit of kick to his, his rapping so he's got the cat cat you know like the voice effects sound effects and I like that a lot so if you haven't checked out his uh, I guess second audition then go it's on YouTube right now I might leave a link in the comments not comments in the description below so go check out that video I'm gonna try to leave all the links to the performances that I enjoyed into in the description so you guys that don't know show me the money can check it out and if you want to yeah punchinello everyone thinks he's probably the top three rappers in show me the money this year aside of ek and i believe also young b is a good contestant to win as well punchinello was well, the first guy that i forgot to mention some of the new people that i got to know through this episode two was i believe my favorite audition was not by Naughty Boy, Big Naughty Boy. I finally know his name now, the, the dog hat guy. It wasn't him this time, it was actually, um, her name is Yuja, I believe. And she did like, it's like kind of like a happy tune, but she rapped about some savage lyrics, but it was quite cute, so I enjoyed it a lot and all the judges enjoyed it a lot. I might leave a clip right now for you guys to check out. I felt energized after watching that video or song performance. She was probably my favorite contestant performance in the episode two. There's also a episode three, which is the part two of the second elimination round. And that's like the second half of the people. So like EK and Youngbi haven't gone yet. So in the next episode, they'll perform. Yeah, so Yuja, my favorite performance. And then another performance that I like, I don't remember his name. I think his name is Sungmin. I don't think he's a part of Indigo Music, but he's like in that. I think he's in Weeda Plug or something, I'm not sure. But he's like in that Just Music crew area, group. And I didn't know about him until this episode. And I watched 
his performance and I actually really liked it. He's got that deep voice, which I do like. It's just really fire. So I really encourage you guys to go check out all the performances that I mentioned, including this one, Sungim, Sungnim, Sungmin. And um, go check them out and see if they are good or not. And let me know in the comments if you find them interesting or if you like them. If you have not watched Show Me The Money before. If you have watched Show Me The Money before, let me know in the comments who your favorite contestant was in the first half of the second round. Like I said, Yujo is my favorite. Well, performance and rapping style, I would believe either Sungmin or Panchinello would be my favorite. And I don't, another guy that I forgot to mention, I mentioned him in the last video, my, my last discussion video, Jang Yo! Jang Yo! My dude, he came back, he performed in the first part of the second round, and he also killed it, but he did a different style this time from his first audition. If you haven't checked out my, my first discussion, episode one discussion, go check it out. There's a card here he did a different style so like he did the fast rapping style with also a deep voice and in his first audition in episode one he did this like weird witty i guess rap he's like Jang -yu! and then second audition he just killed it he did just fast rap all the way he did really well and um the judges really liked him and i really like him so i think he is a really good contestant and show me the money Eight. I think he's he might be like top five best rappers in Show Me The Money. Um, that, that's in my opinion. So let me know who you guys, how you guys think about, I guess, Zhang Yu's performance. And I also mentioned in the first episode about um, Big Naughty Boy or Naughty Boy. And um, I actually found out he's only 17. I don't know like Korean age that like to say Korean age that well so I didn't know he was 17 but he is 17 so there's another quite young dude in Show Me The Money this year and I think there's a few other ones that did quite well I think he's like a really smart student but then he got into rapping and um, now he's in Show Me The Money 8 and a lot of contestants liked him and he's got a different style to him as well he's got that raspy singing voice and um, like I said, if you want to check out his performance, click and look in the description and you'll find it. <laughs> Along with the other performances that I mentioned. I still like um, Big Natty's first elimination round performance or audition. That's probably my favorite audition. And I mentioned that in my first episode. And that was really good. Cool. That was really cool. And then this one, it was like more jazzy, you know? So uh, I wonder what he comes up with in the next round. Whoa, 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 hold up. I totally forgot about mentioning this, but um, I just am editing this video right now. And uh, I forgot to mention that Ulti did his first performance or second audition. I didn't get to see his first audition because it wasn't posted on YouTube. So I got to check out Ulti's performance and um, you guys know if you're into K-Hip-Hop, that Ulti and Uneducated Kid got into like a little bit of beef. Uneducated Kid wanted to fight Ulti apparently for no reason, I guess. And Ulti just kind of responded, said, yo, I just want to talk to you personally, like 1v1, just talk. But Uneducated was like, no, I want to fight you, dog. And I was like, well, what the fuck? So that's the whole beef between the two. I don't know actually if Uneducated Kid is even in Show Me The Money. I didn't even see him at all. So let me know in the comments if you know if he's in it. Because Ulti is in it. So if Ulti and Uneducated Kid are in it, then this is going to be a really interesting season. Oh, and I also forgot. I always forget things, but that's because I don't write stuff down to, to when I talk. I just talk. So I do forget things and this is why I'm editing and making more but on my phone because I don't want to like grab the camera you know but this looks actually pretty good so I mentioned well I forgot to mention that Swervy in episode 1 I did talk about her she is actually back in, in the second audition because there was like a part 2 of the first audition so 
one or two extra people or actually it was four because i don't even know it was like a couple people were able to pass even though in the original audition they didn't pass them but they got this like 1v1 with the with the producer and swervy passed i guess so she moved on to the second audition but she failed the second audition a lot of people or a lot of youtube or a lot of online people are comparing swervy and i forgot her name yunhui yunhui i'll put a picture up here there's a picture somewhere and um them two are, are compared right now um yunhui yunhui whatever she is part of we to plug i believe in just music and she passed the first audition and in the second audition she passed but because one person didn't fail her so she passed and a lot of people are skeptical about her and she's always asking for like oh can i get one more chance and um producers are like okay fine so that's what that's happened twice now in two auditions and usually you're not allowed to do that but for whatever reason they give her an ex another try and i don't know that's kind of weird to me i don't i feel like she should have failed the second round because she didn't even rap at all she just forgot her lyrics and in the comments let me know what you guys think about that situation i was able to see a preview of like what's happening in the next round after the second round auditions and um <clears throat> there's like a new style like from show me the money triple seven there's always a different curriculum in show me the money each season so last year we had like the 1v1 cage thing <laughs> And then you got one extra guy that can come in. So it's like a 1v1v1. One one one. And um, then it's just like a 1v1 one one and they rap. And then you choose one person out of them. And this year, I think if you guys haven't seen the teaser, but you'll probably see it already if, you have, if you've seen the episode two. I actually did watch the full episode two this time because uh, I mentioned in my previous talk discussion episode one i only like saw the clips on youtube because it's just like the first audition so it's just the producers going around auditioning everyone so in this episode that you got to see actual performances which is what i was looking for so that's why i watched the full episode even though it was kind of leggy near the end so it would like lag every two seconds so i would have to wait for the fire to start i forgot what i was saying Oh, so yeah, the second round, or actually the third round, like it should be the 1v1 round. I'm gonna leave a spoiler right here. Spoiler alert right here if you guys don't want to hear it. <laughs> you can skip past it. This year they're gonna do, I think it's like a group thing. They have like each song that you can rap to, like instrumental you can rap to on the board, on the wall or something, and then everyone can choose which song they want. And then I think they battle from there i believe i'm not sure if that's 100 what it is but that's what i think so yeah i'm excited to see how that turns out there was the teaser which i did saw see after the episode two so that's how i found out about the next round oh a uh, contestant that he came back he was in show me the money four four or five show me the money five is donut man so uh he was in show me the money five in the mad clown and um I think his name is Gil, G-I-L. They were the producers in the Show Me Money 5 and Donut Man, Donut Man was on that team. So Donut Man is back this year. He, I don't know, he sounds like the same right now, but I've only heard one performance from him. So maybe he's a little bit better, a little bit different. I saw him at and actually Juno Flo's Statues music video. I don't know what he was doing there. But uh, if you want to check out that reaction, then go check it out. There's a car right here. I like Donut, Donut Man and Show Me The Money 5. So I'm excited to see how he does in this season. He got, he didn't do that well in the elimination round. This, like in this elimination round, he got a couple fails and a couple passes. So um, I think that's what it was. Some people I'm still expecting to see is that mask dude. I think people, like I said in the episode one, I talked about him. Is, I didn't really know who it was. I thought it was Bill Stacks, but it's not really. It's actually Jay Ken, so 
Um, I want to see his next performance to actually see maybe I can find out if it's Jaekyun or not. Youngbi and EK still haven't gone so I'm waiting for their performances. Yeah, that's really all. In the comments again, let me know who your favorite performance was if you watched the episode 2. There's a lot of other performances that I liked but the ones I talked about were the ones that really stood out to me. On YouTube, they also have a lot of performances that are just cut up instead of watching the whole episode and I left some of them in the description if you want to check them out again. I said that like a lot already in this video. That's it from me so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like as well subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! Hey so this is the outro if you want to check out more videos click on the screen right now if you want to check out even more videos go to my channel and check them out and while you're at it subscribe right here.